What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Man, did y'all see what happened last week? Was anybody paying attention? One of the wildest weeks of my life. I learned a lot. I learned that this chair is only fun to sit in when I'm eating food. I learned that sitting at this computer cutting sobs out of a video is not the type of editing I want to be doing. And the final thing I learned is that when you do something wrong, there ain't nothing wrong, less manly, cowardly, whatever spin you want to put on it with just apologize. At the end of the day, when you screw up, sometimes you you just gotta swallow that pride no matter how big and girthy it is. So yeah, lots of lessons learned. Uh, sometimes you gotta take your knocks the hard way, but I feel like I'm better for it. So the past is behind us. To be honest, if I could dig a 10 foot grave and bury it, set it on fire, fill in the dirt, and then drop a nuke on it, I would. But alas, nukes are not commercially available, so we're gonna have to do with it just being in the past. Anyways, I gotta show you guys something. I took your advice two vlogs ago, and boy, some of you aren't gonna like this. Get a load of this. Whoa, game bad. what happened? Bud, what happened? Oh, uh, we got him neutered. We got him fixed and he's not having a good time. Put it away. That's what got you here in the first place. It's been about a week, so they say he's good to take the cone off, but to be honest, I'm, I might just make it a permanent addition. Comment below, does the boy look better with it? I mean, in my opinion, it looks less like a cone and more like an accessory. And funny story about his, you know, testiculars. When I got him back, I assumed when they do these surgeries, they like, get rid of them. But when he came back, they were still there. So I called the vet up. I'm like, hey guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but should he still have his nuts? And they were like, yeah, we basically just like hollow him out. And I was like, oh. For a second, I thought I had a magic dog. Like how many dogs do you know that can go to a neuter and come back intact? Your dog can't, but my boy can. That's my boy. All right, enough about nuts. In the last video, I shared with you guys that I was hashtag up 10. Some of y'all really took that and ran with it. And for that, I'm mad. The water under the bridge. So as of today, I am only up five. I'm gonna give you guys a physique update just to be transparent. My goal is still to lose about six, seven, eight more pounds to really be summer shredded. But here's where I'm at. Oh man. All right, check me out. I got my upper abs pretty decent. I got nice definition in my arms. The thing about me when I gain weight, I can keep pretty aesthetic arms and my upper body stays pretty aesthetic. But the first place I gain it is in the dreaded love handles and that darn Dunlap. It's what I like to call wearing an inner tube at the pool genetics. But the good thing is when I'm on track and I'm really uh, eating anabolic, following the recipes, things like that, my weight really does fall off. So it's a blessing and a curse that I can gain and lose pretty quick. I'm not a hard gainer, but I'm not a slow gainer either. So here is where I'm at. Y'all let me know down below. How much more should I lose? What do you think my body fat percentage is? Y'all let me know. And if I hear one more up 10 comment, I'm canceling all Christmas cards. Oh, baby. Mm, mm. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the best bar we've ever made. These will be launching along with the restock on June 17th. If you've been paying any attention, we've been selling out like within 24 hours. Follow me on Instagram for the exact times. Follow me on social media, I will let you guys know, but you don't wanna miss this one. There's actual Fruity Pebbles in it. Not many things can say that. I am also a fan of chest augmentation, but there still ain't Fruity Pebbles in it. And to be completely honest with you guys, when we dropped Anabar, we obviously knew we had an amazing bar, but we did not expect it to like blow up the way it has. And with this type of growth comes uh, new challenges, such as our shipping's been taking a little longer because every single launch is bigger than the next one, which obviously sucks. I want you guys to be able to get the bars like as fast as possible. And in order to counter this problem, last week, me and Ank actually went and looked at a potential warehouse for Final Boss, a new headquarters, if you will. With all the drama going on, I never posted the footage, but I'm actually gonna work on some of my client plans and I'm just gonna cut to a few days ago when we went and looked at this warehouse and uh, you guys, let me know what you think. Three, two, Two, one, let's go. Just got to the warehouse. It is everything behind us. I'm gonna take you guys on a little tour and show you what we got. Basically, this thing is 13,000 square feet. You already know with uh, Final Boss and everything we've been doing, we've been working with fulfillment centers. So basically, we would send all of our stuff to a warehouse and we paid a company to ship and fulfill it. But we're at the point with Anabars where everything, these launches are so big that what we're paying for fulfillment is literally more than the rent we would pay at a warehouse and we can staff everything ourselves. So uh, it's a big move, man. It's something I've always thought about since the beginning of business, like having a, like a warehouse 
the home base. So uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, this is the one. You got a good feeling? Yeah, so far, so, so far. So far, man, so let's check it out. We just did a little walkthrough and this place is looking pretty promising. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of what we're working with. First, we got like big room like this, which would be great for, um, this could be like a conference room. I wanna put like a big circle table in the middle, make some executive decisions. Team meetings, yell at people. Get a gavel, you know, <laughs> condemn people to being fired. Harry, Harry! And then we'll run down here, come on. It would also come with a little mini kitchen area. So this would be like a break room or whatever for employees. The worst washer I've ever seen. Have you ever seen a washer? Sure. That bad. Things a hunk of shit. All right, come on. Now I'm really feeling like this would be an office I would want. Look at this. You got windows on all the sides. Looks pretty cool. So anyways, cool part. Let's go to the warehouse. And this is the warehouse. So I don't know if you can get an idea of how big this is, but right now with Final Boss, this is way bigger than we actually need. But the thing is with how fast everything's growing, we didn't want to get a place and sign like a three year, five year lease. And then we're basically pushing the limits of it. So we want to start something that we could like grow into. So that's kind of the goal here. So you look, we got like these big doors here. So that's going to help because the problem with the company right now, and I love you guys for placing your orders, but the problem we are having is that people are not getting their packages fast enough. Our warehouse we have right now, the Fulfillment Center, they just can't handle what we got to do and they're closed on the weekends. So the goal is with these big launches, when we do them, like me and Ank will show up on the weekends. We will pack all weekend until all the orders are done to make sure you guys get your packages because nothing makes me feel worse than like people order something and it takes like a week and a half, two weeks to get. So that's one of the goals, man. We're trying to just speed this stuff up. So I would say just like by looking at this, this would be incredible. I mean, look at all these doors, like trucks are literally pull up, we stack them, we load them, we send them out, we can receive inventory really well. And there's a ton of rooms, so like we might not use all of this right away but we're thinking like maybe put like a little gym in here get some workout equipment um yeah there's like lots of possibilities so comment below what can we do with all this space what do you guys want to see so this is the warehouse and then what we're going to do to actually make the warehouse bigger so i told you guys there's a lot of offices in here so we come in and um this is like another just big empty area basically uh, what we would want to do from like right here all the way over is demo all this out to where basically the warehouse becomes like a big L shape to give us even more stuff back here. And the thing is right back in here, I mean, I don't know if you can feel it, Hank, but this is like- um, A lot cooler. A lot cooler. So uh, with our covered bars and things like that, the ones where like they can melt, a lot of storage could happen like right in this corner. So that's the idea. I'm gonna show you guys how many extra offices we're gonna have that I don't know how the heck we're gonna use, but hey, maybe we become like a million dollar company here soon. We got this office right here. We we got this office. We got this office. We have, there's a side entry. Got his and hers offices. <laughs> we need a power couple to hire. <laughs> and then we got this office. We got this office. Actually, I don't know what you would call this. is like a reception area because it connects right to the front. This okay. is where you'll be greeted. Yeah, right here. Right here. You'll get greeted and frisked. Ank's gonna frisk. <laughs> we got this office. And then uh, we got the ladies' restroom. Am I allowed to walk in there? I've always wanted to. Hold on, let me see what it's like in here. Is it any different? I don't see a couch. It's the only thing I'm noticing that's different in here is it stinks. We got a water fountain right there. That reminds me of the school water fountains. Had to make sure it worked. And then uh, we got men's bathroom. And we are right back here at the entrance. So this is basically where we're at. We're feeling really, really, really good about this. So uh, you guys comment below. What do you think? Is this, uh, you know, do you like it? Too many offices, bigger warehouse. What do you guys think? I'm always excited to get your feedback. Yeah, so this has been um, a fun experience. First time ever doing anything like this. So exciting, man. It is exciting. So hey, congrats, brother. Appreciate you guys for all the support. If it wasn't for you, this, um, you know, small Ohio town boy, uh, wouldn't be out here being able to do this type of stuff. Man, this is uh, this is wild. It's like a dream come true. So uh, making Logan proud. Making Logan proud. So we're gonna, yeah, think about this, but um, I think we're gonna put in uh, an offer. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat>
And to be honest, I like my recipes like I like my women. Simple, easy, high volume. And would you look at that, pizza crust. So I got my ingredients, my fat-free cheese, my turkey pepperoni weighed out, some pizza sauce, and I know exactly how many calories is in this because I'm pulling it right out of the RJF Anabolic Cookbook. Step-by-step -step instructions, cook times, all the foods you love without all the dang calories. You can fit it right in your pocket. Check out the link in my description. You will not regret it. Add our sauce, spread the love around. Now we're just building, baby, that fat-free cheese, pure protein right here. And now we toss on the turkey pepperoni, way less calories, folks. And then finally, just to add some micros. No, oh, actually, I'm lying about that. I don't care about the micros. I care about people comment and say I don't eat veggies. We're gonna add some hot banana pepper rings to this. When it comes to stuff like this, I don't even weigh it out because it's five calories per 30 grams. When it comes to little things like this, uh, to me, unless you're going to like a bodybuilding show or competition, it's pretty negligible. Like I always preach, you want your diet to be sustainable while at the same time not having a mental breakdown every time you go over four grams on ketchup. I knew a guy like that once. Let's just say the only view he's had for a while is outside of a barred window in the penitentiary. And now that she's built, she just needs to go in the oven for six, seven minutes so that cheese melts. So that's it. Just make sure you're using an oven safe dish without a plastic handle. I am in no way responsible if your house burns down. That's that's not on me. That's on you. That's not on me. Whoop, whoop, boom. Here we go. Ultimate thin crust pizza. Man, I love these. I didn't even check this out. About to expose myself. I sometimes don't even cut it into pieces and I just mm, eat it like this. Next time you're at a pizza restaurant, order the pizza, tell them not to cut it and just eat it like this. The chances of attracting a mate are slim, but if you do, you can guarantee whatever you guys get into will be kinky. Mm, this is how you eat a pizza. Now in this entire pizza, there is only 485 calories, nine grams of fat, 52 grams of protein, 49 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. This is literally how uh, I plan my meals. When I follow these types of meals out of my cookbook and I hit my calories, my protein goal every day, the uh, results are just like, it's easy when I'm doing that. But when I'm not doing that, that's when the danger hits, but it's not good. Mm, wow. How you doing, bud? How you doing? You look like you're about to go on a flight with a neck pillow. You look like a dandelion, bud. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is gonna wrap up this video. We got a little bit of Logan. We got warehouse. We got all sorts of stuff. So I just wanted to get this vlog out so I could do something with that warehouse footage. But if there's anything you wanna see me do particularly in the next video, let me know down below. Smash that thumbs up button. That's how I know you guys wanna keep seeing these. If you wanna see a vlog a week, two vlogs a week, you guys gotta show love on these videos. That means comments gotta be blown up. Likes gotta be blown up. If you do that, we got more coming. My cookbook linked in description get lean the fun way and until next time ladies and gentlemen me and logan will see each and every one of you at the next video see you guys say bye to him bud say bye to him woof